What is up guys, DSTK here. Apple releases iOS 16 along with the iOS and iPadOS 15.7 in general and it's been more than 24 hours since I'm testing OS 15.7. So it's time to jump on its performance, new feature, bug fixes, security update, benchmark score, main about the battery life and finally should you update or not. So without further ado, let's get started. Timestamps are already down in the description because I value your time and you can skip in between to watch this specific part of this video. All iOS and iPadOS compatible devices will get this update and yeah as always first thing first let's start with the ipad os 15.7 the size of this update is 275 mb here on my ipad pro and it may vary from ipad to ipad as far as the new feature we don't have any this time as well neither we have a modem update so what's this update about basically it's the last update of os 15 with an important security updates and here's the long list available about what apple had fixed and most importantly apple did a great job fixing issues associated with safari and safari extension so those website were checking you why safari extension will no longer track you after updating to ios and ipadOS 15.7 so definitely it's worth installing on your iphone and ipad as far as the overall performance on ipad it seems little bit improved than the previous ipadOS 15.6.1 and definitely apple work more likely on stability so if you are experiencing app crashing or choppiness related problem then update your ipad to the ipadOS 15.7 about bug fixes there is nothing mentioned in the release note but more likely problem associated with the ipad storage rendering hdr videos overheating while playing several game etc has been resolved so far some user have problem in updating apps from the app store after installing the ipad os 15.7 it's because the servers of apple was so much busy after the september event and ios 16 release so user were experiencing problem while updating apps but it's uh, now fixed also i got comment on a previous video about ios and ipad os 15.6.1 some user have problem while connecting third party bluetooth accessories like keyboard and mouse with their iPad in between it loses connection or sometimes it's failed to connect but here in iPad OS 15.7 it's working damn perfect if I talk main about the battery life then previously on iPad OS 15.6.1 I was getting only 4 to 5 hour the screen on time in a complete 0 to 100 percent charge but after updating to iPad OS 15.7 I had made several Instagram posts short few reels using my iPad after editing and uploading it almost drained 25 percentage of the battery so again it's quite good for older iPad like this one on average in ipadOS 15.7 i am getting 7 to 8 hour of the screen on time in a complete charge also here i am sharing this screenshot of battery analytics after editing this entire video on my 2018 ipad pro overall we have somewhat improved battery life in ipadOS 15.7 about the iPadOS 16, it's got delay because of the stage manager and probably we have its public release in the first week or mid of the October. Even I'm more excited for iPadOS 16 than iOS 16. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Now let's talk about the iOS 15.7. The size of this update is 333 MB on my iPhone and it may vary from device to device. As I already mentioned before, we have no new feature this time. Neither we have a modern update. So basically it's a last update of iOS 15 for iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone 6 iPhone 6s and for iPhone SE first generation. So more likely Apple work on stability and this update do contain several security updates that I already covered before. So as far as the overall performance OS is quite smooth and somewhat speedy. About bug fixes like green pink tint issue in the display, overheating, storage bug, connectivity related problem etc is more likely fixed. Also user were unable to update their apps in the app store has now been resolved. Actually server was busy at the Apple's headquarter after a public release of iOS 16. But but now you can able to update apps normally as before. If I talk main about the battery life then here I am getting on average 8 to 9 hour of the screen on time in a complete 0 to 100% charge after updating to iOS 15.7. It shows 5 hour but still the 50% of the battery still left on my iPhone. In the previous version of iOS 15.6.1 user were getting on average 6 to 7 hour of the screen on time easily. So this time also we have improved battery life. Also I will attach the screenshot of battery analytics after shooting the first half of this video using this iPhone so you could have better idea about the battery life. For older iPhone I would say battery life is improved this time than the previous iOS 15.6 so it's worth updating to iOS 15.7 and finally here I'm sharing some benchmark score you can pause this video to check it out. 
As per my overall conclusion, all iPad users and iPhone users should update their devices to the latest iOS and iPadOS 15.7 as it contains several important security updates and performance is quite good. Also, we have somewhat improved battery life this time for older iPhones as well. So now the question arises, should you update to iOS 16 or iOS 15.7? So if you are performance oriented guy and want a longer battery life, then straight off it, install iOS 15.7. But if you are a tech fanatic like me and wants to try the new features of the iOS 16, then finally it's here but as it is in the early stage so it might be unstable but if you could wait for the next version of the iOS 16 then it would be great most of the time Apple fixes majority of the bug in the second version and try to give a best user experience but let's see so that's pretty much it about the iOS and iPadOS 15.7 hope you will get answer of should you update or not if you want to know anything else then please leave it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you for stopping by till the end and as always I will catch you in the next video